Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my second channel. Welcome back to Turbo Motion Z2. Today, we're going to be playing some Counter Strike Condition Zero. And this is kind of like a new series that I just wanted to do just for fun. And I might just start doing rant. I don't know. Like, aside from like my regular content on YouTube to keep things fresh and to keep things entertaining, I might just kind of make like the content that I genuinely want to make on this channel. Now, keep in mind, because I have to like, because I obviously have my main channel I have to worry about and I have obviously my live streams, um, I'm not going to be able to devote too much time to this channel. And I mean, well, the thing is though, if the channel like blows up and we start getting like, I don't know, like t tens of thousands of views a video and I can start justifying like putting more effort into these videos, I'll definitely start doing that. But at the moment, you know, I'm just going to kind of make the content that I enjoy making. It's not going to be the most professional, you know, content in the world, but it's going to be honest and it's going to be fun. So regardless, guys, let's jump into it. So we're going to create a brand new character and let's name our dude Shrek the turd. Hey, let's go, dude. We already got demonetized. And guys, we're, I guess we're going to be playing it on, I guess. Okay. So we'll do it on normal because obviously easy is way too easy and hard is kind of annoying. So anyways, mission number one on the tour of duty is dust one. So you must kill five enemies, you must kill an enemy and survive the round, and you must win a round in less than 75 seconds. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so who do we want on our team? Obviously, we want Kenny because he's Kenny S, and he has a shotgun. He's pretty cool. And then let's also go with... Mm, uh, let's go with Cooper, I guess. Why not? Because obviously, you know, I feel like they're going to be very useful assets to what we're trying to accomplish here. So basically... so. If you've never played Counter-Strike Condition Zero before, let me kind of explain what it is. Basically, it's CS 1.6, but single player against bots, essentially. You know what? I don't need a P9. Dude, I'm going to go Deagle only. Now, my biggest grievance with this game is the fact that the crosshair is just way too big and there's no way to make it smaller. So, oh, hold up. I have mouse acceleration on. That is 100% noticeable. Raw mouse input. There we go. Okay. Wait, eight. Hold up, hold up. What is auto aim? I want to see. Okay, I don't know if auto aim actually works, but let's just turn it off because. Oh no. Okay, so I'm, I might have to cheat here. Okay, all right. But I might have to cheat here, and I might have to use like, I'm gonna set up the the crosshair on my monitor, basically, because I cannot. Like, this crosshair holds me back so much. So, give me one second. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, how do I? Okay, game assist. Uh, and then crosshair. And let's go with style one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's what we need. I just need a crosshair that I can actually use. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so I guess we're going to continue using the deagle. And yeah. Because who needs anything else besides the deagle? Am I right, my dudes? I love how in episode one, I'm already cheating, bruh. I mean, it's not even really cheating. It's just like using a crosshair that I just prefer because I don't know how to change the crosshair in this game. Ooh, there we go. One left. Oh yeah, I guess it's only 3v3. So the last guy, he could be pretty much anywhere. Oh, I saw him. So I have a feeling he could go back into... No, he's right here. No, I whiffed, dude. I whiffed. I'm so bad. Oh my... Okay. Okay. He's going to get away, but you know what? We're going to catch him. Double doors. Okay, double doors is right there. So he's on the B side. Okay. L At least I know where he is. He's probably going to plant like right here. Dude, where is this dude at? Okay, those... All right. I have... A... He might be on... B oh. No. Ah. I almost messed that up. <laughs> I somehow almost messed it up. Okay, there we go. That was incredibly easy. No challenge whatsoever. Oh, wait. Are we not done yet? Okay, I guess we have to complete a couple more rounds. So I guess this time... You know what? Let's try... Let's try the M4 real quick. Let's see how the M4 is on this game. Now, it's been a hot minute since I've actually used the M4 on this game. So I don't know the recoil pattern, so hold up. I know, I know recoil takes a little bit more skill on this game than CSGO. There's, like, less randomness, but... That doesn't mean that I'm not bad. Like, I'm still really bad at it. Because, well, obviously, I don't really have a whole lot of experience on this game. A lot of my experience comes from CSGO. Because I, I spent pretty much a majority of my time playing CSGO and not, you know, 1.6 or Source or whatever. Now, 
keep in, I have played this for a couple years, but my experience is very limited. Like I've played these missions maybe like, I don't know, two or three times total. And I started playing this game in like 2016. So yeah, it's not like I've played this game for thousands upon thousands of hours. Like, let me check real quick. I'll see how many hours I have. Yeah, I have 35 hours total. So absolutely nothing compared to like my CSGO time. Because uh, on CSGO, I have like 5,400 hours. But I mean, regardless though, honestly, mission number one was incredibly easy. Now guys, we're going to do episode two, or not episode two. We're going to do the second mission on the Tour of Duty 1. And this one is Office. So you must kill five enemies. You must kill the enemy with a submachine gun. And you must rescue four hostages. Okay, fair enough. I am, oh, I am, oh, I'm totally okay with that. So let's add Floyd to the mix. And let's start the match, my dudes. So also this is, this channel is going to be kind of practice for... Like, just making content and just talking to myself in general. Because on, like, a daily basis, I don't really... I don't know. I don't really get enough time to really just talk to myself and, like, you know, like, actually get my thoughts out. So this will be kind of, like, a really cool way to, you know, actually, like, practice those, like, skills. Practice my talking skills so I can actually, you know, so I can make... Obviously, so I can make better content on my main channel. And also, so I can be a better live streamer, too. Because I know being able to, like... Being able to talk about whatever topic you want and being able to, like, you know, I guess, take all your thought pro- The ability to take all your thoughts and, I guess, kind of, like, turn them into, like, a sentence or turn them into, like, a story or whatever is incredibly important when it comes to making content. So, yeah, basically, this is kind of, like, practice for me. Giggity goo. I like how I'm, like, just talking about it. Like, hey, guys, this is the only reason why I'm making the channel. This is the only reason why I'm doing these videos so I can practice talking. I mean- I'm not lying. Fuck. Hold up. Okay, this is, uh, yikes. I kind of messed up. kind of choked. Come on. Rescue the hostages, and I hope it doesn't... Do we beat the mission at least? Okay, so it's a, it's a 2v1. Come on. Oh, no, it's a 2v2. There we go. Now it's a 1v2. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So the last guy's basically all the way back in their spawn, and then we have two teammates just running around the map endlessly. And we could either kind of sit here and watch them do their thing and hope that our teammates find the enemy, but we can also just give up on the round. And I'm kind of thinking at this point, giving up on the round might be a better idea unless Cooper can... Okay, so that's the last... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Yo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He just got taken out. And that's all down to Cooper. Can he win the round for our team? Yes, he did. He just won the round. Let's go, dude. Oh, and oh, they just kind of had a weird, like, <laughs> they just kind of saw each other at the very end. Okay, but we kind of failed that. I mean, well, we, we still completed the objective, but we kind of failed. We weren't able to get to get all four hostages, which is kind of uh, it's kind of the objective. So that's kind of a big F, but whatever. Regardless, boys, we're going to hop in there and we're going to grab all four hostages and then we're going to get the hell out of there. We also need to kill three more enemies, but dude, we have an op, so we are totally we're ready for anything. Main hall. Oh, okay. Nope. I'm out. Three, two, one. Peak. Peak, 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 peak. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. No, my teammates stole my kill. One guy left. Okay, so grab the hostages. Get him. All right. All right. Come with me, guys. Come with me. All right. Come with me if you want to live. Now, the last guy's over in the side. I don't know where the side hall is, so that, that call up literally means not. Like, dude, I don't play these maps because uh, I'm not a cheater. And the only people who play these maps on CSGO are people who cheat. For, well, for the most part. I'm sure there's some exceptions, but a vast majority of people who play Office are cheaters. Let's 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 be real here, right? Let's be honest. How many legitimate players would actually play a game mode like this? Not very many, okay? And, it, and if you think so, I guess just let me know in the comments down below if you think that, you know, legitimate people do play the map Office. But from my experience, it's just... It's just a map that exists just so cheaters can play HVH. That's pretty much it, at least from my experience. Okay, I'm just gonna push in there. I don't wanna be too aggressive, obviously, but. Oh, do I whiff? Woo, there we go. Counter chair is one, let's go, dude. Dude, my teammates just went completely bananas. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching episode one of Counter-Strike Condition Zero. Uh, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know if you want more stuff like this in the future. Because, I mean, honestly, like, what I want to do with this channel is I just, like, 
I don't know. I just want to record a bunch of content. Like when I'm just, when I'm feeling really creative, I just want to create a bunch of content that you guys can just enjoy on this channel. And obviously I know it's not going to do as well as it would on the main channel, but if I upload consistently, then eventually the channel might start growing. So, but anyways, if you guys do enjoy these videos, dropping a like on them and leaving a comment helps a ton. Uh, and if you, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, cause uh, you know, I mean, it, like honestly, like, okay. So I, it's kind of weird. Cause one part of me knows that I'm probably not going to like actually follow through and make follow through and make more content. But I mean, I mean, well, all I have to do is just like, if I just recorded the entire series in one day and pre and pre uploaded everything, then even if I want to give up, oh, it's already recorded. It's already made like, so I just need to be smart about it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm just going on and on about random stuff and this is going to go up with no editing whatsoever. So. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's, well, it's me. It's raw footage, essentially. I want to try to make the best raw videos I possibly can with no editing. Now, is that, is that going to be, is it, I don't know. Is that going to like degrade the quality of the content? Maybe, but I mean, I feel like if I can make the, you know what? Anyways, okay. Thanks for watching guys. It's Trevo and I'm out. Peace.